Hi, my name is Lilika and welcome to Cambridge at Home. So something I've seen on this channel over the past like year is that people seem to be really interested in computer science content. I think there's a big lack of it online um, for Cambridge specifically. So today we're just going to be looking at the AS level computer science syllabus, which changed recently. So this is for 2021 to 2023. And I'm just going to be taking you step by step through the syllabus so that you know exactly what you need to know to be able to pass the examinations. I'm holding the mic today because the mic stand just kind of looked ugly in the setting because I'm in my living room today. So ignore that, but let's just get right into it. As always, there will be a link to the blog version of this YouTube video in the description below. So do check that out. Um, and also there will be a link to the syllabus so you can kind of follow along if you want. So first we're gonna look at the content overview, which is just like the actual theory you need to know to be able to pass this exam. And then secondly, we're gonna look at the assessment overviews, which is basically the two papers that you'll be writing for AS level computer science, what they're gonna be covering, stuff like that. Okay, so first off, let's just look at the content. So the first thing you're gonna be learning about is information representation. So this will be data representation, multimedia, so like graphics and sound, and then compression and the different ways you can compress media and what effect that has on the quality etc secondly you're going to be looking at communication so this will be networks the internet um internets extranets like lans wans uh, those types of things if you've never done it or computer science before all of these terms will kind of not make sense to you but if you go through your textbook you'll see that they do pop up um you know throughout the chapters because obviously they're in the syllabus thirdly you're going to be looking at hardware so computers and their components and then logic gates and logic circuits that's pretty fun you'll be looking at or gates and gates stuff like that because that's fundamentally what most computers are made out of so it's very important to learn about that so fourthly in the syllabus is processor fundamentals so you'll be learning about the cpu the central processing unit and its architecture assembly language and then also bit manipulation fifth you're going to be looking at system software so this will be operating systems and also language translators it's pretty spicy. Sixth is uh, security, privacy, and data integrity. Very important. Seventh thing you're gonna be looking at is ethics and ownership. So this has to do with like, like piracy. That is a topic that'll fall under ethics and ownership. Is it ethical to just download a movie without paying for it and stuff like that? And um, yeah, so the seventh topic will kind of cover all that. So the eighth thing you'll be learning about is databases, um, database concepts, database management systems, and data definition language or data manipulation language. The ninth thing you'll be learning about is algorithm design and problem solving. So this is where more coding concepts will come in. So they'll teach you about computational thinking skills and algorithms. Algorithms is one of the biggest. So when I was writing my exam, granted it wasn't the syllabus, but when I was writing my exam, basically all the coding that I did for the programming paper was just on algorithms and different algorithms, sorting algorithms, um, bubble algorithms, whatever it may be. You'll learn all about that in this section of the syllabus. Number 10 is data types and structures. Also, obviously, this is coding, computer programming. So data types and records, you'll learn about arrays, files, and introduction to abstract data types. I actually don't know what that is. That sounds interesting. But you'll be learning about, yeah, data types and structures in this part of the syllabus. The 11th thing you'll be learning about is programming. So this is programming basics, constructs, and structured programming. And the 12th thing you'll be learning about, this is the final one, is software development. So this is the program development lifecycle, program design, and program testing and maintenance. So before we jump into the assessment overview, which is basically just the papers you'll be writing, let's talk a bit about the two routes that you can go for um, computer science for AS slash A levels. So basically what I'm saying. So the first route is AS only. So this will be paper one and paper two, which is written in the same uh, exam series. We'll talk about what those papers are in a minute. And then the second route you can go is A level, which is staged over two years. So in year one, you'll write paper one and paper two, which is the AS level kind of half of the content. And then in year two, you'll write paper three and paper four, which is the A level half of the content. And then your marks for year one, so the AS level stuff will kind of carry forward into year two, which is the A level stuff. And it'll affect, so the AS level marks will affect your A level marks. So essentially you can have an AS level qualification, which is just the AS level stuff, or an A level qualification, which covers AS plus some extra A level stuff. Okay, the assessment overview. So there are two papers that you will write for the AS level only. So this is if you're doing the AS level route. Or if you're doing the A-level route, this will be the two papers you'll write in the first year or the first half of the A-level route. So first off, we've got paper one, which is theory fundamentals. This is an hour and 30 minutes long. It counts for 75 marks um, and it will be covering sections one to eight of the syllabus content. This is a written paper, so you'll be writing it on paper with like a pen and it counts for 50% of your AS-level mark 
and 25% of your A-level mark. This makes sense since there are two papers if you're doing AS, so obviously it'll count for half of those. And there are four papers for your A-level, so it'll obviously count for a quarter of those, which is 25%. The second paper you'll be writing is Fundamental Problem Solving and Programming Skills. So this is the practical paper where you'll actually be programming. This is two hours long, 75 marks. And this will assess sections 9 to 12 of the syllabus content. You will need to write the answers in pseudocode, which is something you'll learn about obviously in your textbook. Pseudocode isn't a specific probing programming language, rather it is a kind of Englishified version of a programming language that is uh, good for kind of conceptualizing code on paper. Anyway, I don't have to teach you about that, your textbook will, but just so that you know. So obviously this is a written paper, you'll write it physically on a piece of paper with a pen. And again, this paper will count for 30% of your AS level mark and 25% of your A level mark, if depending on which route you pick. I hope you understand what I'm saying there. So there you are, that's all of the syllabus covered. Computer science is super fun. Um, I'm actually studying it at university. Well, I'm doing IT, but it's kind of similar stuff. So if you pick this subject, I'm sure you'll definitely have fun if it's kind of up your alley but hopefully this will give you a feel for whether you should go for the subject um, and you know make it one of your subjects for your Cambridge qualification and you learned more about it so that you are a bit less stressed out about you know the concept as a whole and you know exactly what you need to properly prepare for the exam anyway as always a uh, blog in the description syllabus in the description please do check those out and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one uh, good luck on your studying journey <laughs>